Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. I've got a handgun here that I've been wanting to check out. It's made its way through the web at TriggerCon 23. And here we're looking at the Lionheart Vulcan. You may remember them from the LH9 and then the Regulus. All that is gone. That's removed from their line. They are featuring the Vulcan and it's a pretty nice handgun so far. I like what I see. Offers some things that you don't typically see and we're going to go through that and we can check it out. It's got a 3.7 inch barrel and one thing that you may notice is that, well you wouldn't but I will, it's got a kind of heavier recoil spring. 15 pound recoil spring, should cut down on some of that recoil and it, it should be felt with a 15 pound recoil spring. That's, that's the advantage. I don't find it to be too heavy but others may think it is. The trigger pull, you see it has a J hook trigger you're looking at about five, sometimes five and a quarter pounds with a reset right there. Very short reset, but if you know anything about Lionheart, you can bring that hammer back. This is called Double Action Plus, and you push that forward. So basically, when you do pull the trigger, it brings you into single action. So it's not a straight five pounds, all right? So you put it in double action or single action, move it into double action. Nice light pull to bring it into a fire position. Interesting concept, it has stood the test of time with Lionheart. Check out these G10 grips. Now this is not your standard G10 grip. It, it is to a degree, but it actually extends all the way out and has some memory texturing there. Over here it has a gas pedal. So the, the G10 grips, attached with the same screws here, go all the way through to the gas pedal. All right, very cool. I like the trigger function, and it has 15 round mags, and even this is a little bit different. So here, Lionheart is thinking outside the box. It has this piece here. It's actually a tool T10 Torx and a flathead screwdriver for your grips, your optic. How many times have you gone to the optic and didn't have the right tools if something went wrong or it got a little loose on you or something like that. This is embedded right in on the magazine. Right there. So you punch it out. You have those tools available. Two slot pick rail. This here is Cerakoted. And this is not the standard color. This would be an extra charge right around $1,500. But the standard one's going to be all black and you're looking at $1,299. And so that's what you're looking at with this. Now it does have an aluminum frame. Has a slight undercut in the trigger guard. 15 round magazines and it's called the Vulcan. The optic, you can see here, Holosun 507K. It will fit a RMS footprint. And uh, that's pretty popular for a, a gun that is Pretty much for many people would be a carry pistol with the aluminum frame, 3.7 inch barrel, optic ready. Serrated black rear sights, can co-witness. Then here we have a fiber optic front sight. I'm gonna shoot this at range day. I can't wait to do that because I wanna check out the Double Action Plus. It's been a while. I've reviewed the LH9 years ago, but that, that single action trigger pull is nice and I, I think that reset is very short and I love uh, you know aluminum frame guns that have a full-size feeling to it that is not quite full-size it's a compact size so it's called the Vulcan made by Lionheart it's the only handgun in their line right now the Regulus is gone the LH9 is gone the Vulcan is here and it's seemingly here to stay ambidextrous thumb safety all right so I had to figure that out you push it you push it up that way. Basically, you push it under there. It's very unintrusive. Doesn't stick out much. But from what I can tell, it seems like a nice nice handgun. All right, Cerakote slide, about $1,500. All black, $1,299. That's what they're offering at Lionheart. Seems pretty cool. I look forward to it at range day. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.